Here, I want to give you my gloves. Yeah, these are, well, they're all wet now, so. Oh, yeah. These things are freaking addicting. Sorry, you're not. You can head out if you want. We'll probably be here after dark. Come Penis. On. We're over by the hill. Comma, almost got the truck stuck out here. One foot of snow, period. I don't think we'll be out of here before 6 p.m. All right, uh, what was I gonna check? Oh yeah, let's see at the Zach barrel length, probably 16.1 or something like that. It is. Yep, that's what it is. That's what I said. Cool. Okay, here we go. Film a film it. Woohoo! This thing's cool, man. We need a fucking VG on it. If we go on that side of the truck, there'll be no wind. Let's do it. <clears throat> Better light, too. Uh, it's right here. Dude, I'm telling you, my back's to it. There's no wind right here. Right here, just do it. We're good. Right there. I'll start there. Back of the TMP Titan. Dang, it's cold. Wind kicking up about 15 miles an hour out of the northeast, which is odd for this location. We are in field. This is a nothing fancy project. I hope you can hear me. And we have Chad. Chad Enos from Caltech. Special guest. Still here. Yeah. So if you keep coming out, I'll stop saying guest and I'll say crew member. Okay. You got to come out like at least twice a year for crew member. Did I get a t-shirt? This crew member on if it? I have a t-shirt, I don't know if I have any crew member t-shirts left. Just give me the one you sleep in. <laughs> My Britney Spears? I'm never getting rid of that, dude. The I'll long sleep tee. I'll trade you a T-Swift for it. <laughs> and the R is not silent. <laughs> Speaking of R, here, your turn to film, dude. Uh, we're here in field. We're going to give you an add-on review to the kel P50. 5728 pistol. I reviewed that last year. Uh, very positive review. I really liked that gun. It was all I could do not to buy it. It was loaned from Gunny's, the Great American Gun Store. Thank you to Gunny's. Uh, I turned it back. Uh, this one has been brought out by Chad from Caltech. So this is the R50. This is the carbine version of the P50. It is what I was saying on tabletop that they should make. I told them they would sell a buttload of them, and I predict this will be a runaway bestseller for them, assuming it does fairly good out here. I think it will. I think it will. So here's the configuration, dudes. The P50 pistol that I reviewed was just this portion, of course. Had a threaded barrel on it. Uh, in that tabletop review of the P50, I did discuss it being converted to a braced pistol option. There are maybe were companies that were making uh, braces for the P50, but they weren't inexpensive. You would spend probably $285 putting a, a maybe more. How much, Chad? Yeah, 300? three plus, yeah. Three, three and a quarter, we'll say, that, after yeah. you get your brace on your P50. Uh, so, and I talked about that in review. I was like, well, it's not cost effective. So lo and behold, kel came out with a solution. And not only that, it's a rifle. So you don't have to worry about all the reinterpretation of the brace law nonsense, which is going on right now. So rumor, uh, it's just rumor is that the brace law is going to change. You can't put it on certain in, in, uh, types of guns. Can't shoulder it anymore. You have to register it. All this nonsense. Really it's super confusing, full of holes, and it can be legally challenged. And I suspect it's going to get overturned. But until then, just get an R50 and you don't have to worry about it. 16.1 inch barrel, more accuracy, more velocity, which is a big plus. And then you have this super cool steel stock, which is relatively easy to deploy and get your glove stuck in it. You're getting better at it. Now it's cold here today. It's like 20 degrees with wind chill, less than that. Um, so it's gonna be, it's going to be a bit frigid on the steel, but I'm sure M Carbo or somebody's going to come out with something for that, and you could just wrap it in electrical tape. This is actually really easy to do. I just wrap it in electrical tape, not spin anything on it. But it locks really solidly. Look at that. I don't see any wiggle in this. And this is their tester gun, so this has seen a lot of wear and tear on it already. 
right Chad? Correct. And Chad, being Chad, doesn't really maintain uh, the tester guns that well. I broke this open to reload it and it was all rusted on underneath of it. Eh. It got dunked in some water and not wiped off. Whatever. It's Point being is this is a seen a lot of rounds. Well, it's a tester gun. It's not in perfect condition. So if it does well out here, chances are your R50 is gonna do just as good, if not better. So we have the FNP 90 Mac on there. Mm -hmm. Holding 50 rounds, 5728. I'm gonna just comes with two. Comes with two Macs. Correct. Wow, that's good value, dude. Yeah. Wow. So you got a hundred round, super compact, 3.5 pound gun by the way and look at the short overall length once again when it's in its folded position look at that and that's with a 16 inch barrel that's pretty sick i think you're going to sell the heck out of these i really do uh they're just make as many as you can go ahead. i believe don't quote me on you have to look at the website i believe it's only 20 dollars more msrp for for the for the carbine over the p50 really? mm -hmm. that's incredible dude yeah that is really incredible. Now he was going to bring a can out. He forgot it. We don't have the muzzle protector on it. So sorry about that. It doesn't look quite as cool as it should. Uh, I would have liked to shot it with a can. I forgot to bring mine out. We've just been, we've just been working our butts off. So. Good point. I haven't run it without a can yet. Okay. So yeah. I shot it a couple rounds just to see, I checked zero, had to adjust <clears throat> the sight on it. And so it's, it's pretty much there. This is a uh, Vortex AMG UH-1. Pretty cool red dot, actually. You might be able to see the reticle through there. It might it's, uh, maybe. This is kel I, I like how high it is. It's kind of bulky and big, but on this gun, it kind of works. You know, and I, when I lifted it up, it wasn't super, super duper light, but I really like its reticle. So it has a big MOA circle with a smaller aiming dot in the middle, which I do prefer. Anyways, that's the Caltech site they put on there, so we'll use that. It's got seven inches of Picatinny rail. It really screams out for a VG, doesn't it, Chad? It does. Now, the nice thing is, since we're shooting for accuracy, we don't have it on here. That's good, because it would get in the way of my, my uh, rest, my rifle rest. But with a VG on this thing, now you're talking, dude. You are talking. That is really legit. Five pound trigger on that. Most of these kel guns that we've been testing lately have great triggers on it. This is no different. Uh, the magazines are a pain to load. They're just kind of, well, let's come over here so we get out of the wind. It's just like the, you know, the P90. It's the same thing. They just take a little while to load. They're not hard to load. And maybe later they'll have uh, loading tools that you can have. There might be some out there that I'm not aware of. If so, I'll link them below. Stock folds to both sides. Also has an ambi safety. This is your mag release. It's got like an AR style charging handle and that's a QD cup in the back there. Nice. So yeah. really calling out for single point sling usage. Correct. Being as light as it is. Uh, you've got captured recoil springs on stainless steel guide rods underneath there. Same as the P50 that we saw before. Yep. Just a really cool gun. We're gonna start off with uh, accuracy. We'll just shoot it a little bit. Uh, again, I'm not going to stretch it out with this sight. Oh, shit. My target blew down. We'll put it back up. Standard. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to shoot out to 100 yards with this sight. I mean, if I had a, a magnified optic, we'd go out to 50 maybe. But now we're shooting with a 15 mile an hour crosswind. I don't know. We'll shoot for paper. Then we'll shoot steel. And then we'll, I'll talk about with, whether I'd buy it. Um, one thing I'm not going to do too much right here is rant about cost and availability of 5728. While Chad and I are filming this, it is still a problem. Uh, I have a box of ammo here from Gunny's. This FM ammo, that's 50 rounds for 30 bucks. Yikes. 30 freaking dollars. Uh, I do prefer 55623, five, way, way over 5728 for just its capability. But when you get a gun that's three and a half pounds, it, off, it opens up some special opportunities. Speaking of which, a quick discussion on POU. This would be a good, in the vehicle, maybe even on the motorcycle, Chad, uh, defensive carbine. I like it. It's pretty sick. I mean, it would be great. It's short overall length. I like the longer barrel for more velocity, like I said. Pretty interesting, really. Uh, I don't know if I would integrate it into a BOK. 
3.5 unloaded, more weight versus a 22, which I do use from a BOKs. You guys determine that. I'll tell you what, if I was in a high probability of armed conflict and I knew I was bugging out, I would way prefer this over any 22. Any 22, I'd take this. I mean, you can, you can stretch this out easily to 100 yards. It's got great firepower. I think the 5.7 is a decent cartridge. There's lots of information on it. But um, I think it's a winner just from what I'm seeing right here. I think that goes way past 100 yards. Yeah, five, I'm saying like with this type of optic, you put I magnified for me. I'm talking me. 200. We're old. I, even young guys should use uh, magnified optics from what I see out here. Well, they shoot red dots off that ridge right there. They miss like a son of a bitch. Like all the time. Show them that ridge right there. I've had TMPers come out for Soldier Boy shoot with the red dot. They cannot connect. Yeah, prior to shooting, they're telling me how awesome red dots also, are. Also, 300 yards. Target identification. Bingo. Yeah. yeah, what if your light's bad? And that's really important Correct. without rule of law. I mean, you better be sure what you're shooting at. And like I always say, I do advocate running away and avoiding conflict at all costs. I've said that throughout the years, and I will stick to that. On we go with accuracy and then on to steel. Uh, and then I may bounce back to POU before we end the video. What ammo are we running right now? Uh, American Eagle 5.7. So, if I had my preference, I would have that, uh, what is it, the SS109 FN. You can't even get that stuff anymore. So, I'm running this. 40 grain FMJs. This stuff is also super expensive and actually still hard to find. Mm. One good thing about this cartridge is that it's so compact. I mean, that's 50 rounds right there. So, you want to you talk about a benefit over uh, 223? There's one right there. It is lightweight. I guess you could carry in your BOK four boxes of that, plus a gun. You do a super light hollow sun red dot. You, it's doable. It's doable. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is about the same weight as my Papoose, which I integrate. Well, think about this in BOK. You get 100 rounds to start if you load the two mags. Bingo. And you can leave them loaded too, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Without the spring fatigue. Absolutely, yep. Okay, let's get our ears on. Uh, just keep the camera rolling, dude. And then we'll go right on over there. And shoot. We gotta set our target back up. Yeah, can you go do that? Yeah. I guess I will turn the camera off just for a second. Hey, do you have that lead shot bag over there? Yeah, it's one over Okay. There. So we have some other plans for other guns to review here. Don't know if we will get to them all. We're trying. As usual, I am working extremely hard for you. Thanks to the donors to the Nut and Fancy Project, you should be one. Anyone can afford five to 10 bucks a month like anyone can. Check your payment method, please, and Patreon. Make sure it does not expire. Some guys forgot about that. Their payment expired. They mean to come back and they never do. So that makes me very sad and I sob myself to sleep at night. A couple of my uh, Velcro on bumper stickers. We got Trigger Conservative, Eat Shit Commie, and Defund Democrats. And then I've got, uh, let's see, FJB on the side, of course. Someone's calling me and bugging me. Hang on. Let's see who this is. Oh, it's Sean the TMP, -er, dude. Hang on, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, it's windy and cold out here. Are you coming out or not? Bottom left, ready? Uh, just five rounds in each orange. R50 operational environment. Have what? For whatever reason, Chad has elected to stand while he's shooting for accuracy. Five in each orange. R50. Five, seven, two, eight. Oh yeah. Now just four in the orange, since I'm paying for the ammo.
That gun is quieter too with that longer barrel. Yeah. You good? That's good. I only put two in the bottom right one. Okay, that's fine. Let's go check it out. How do you think you did? I don't know. The wind is going, it's crosswind straight into my glasses and it's, I'm crying. It's making me tear up. Well, you're usually crying out here anyhow. I am. As usual, the wind's ripping the target off. Yeah, it was flipping up. Well, that's not bad. So yeah. this is good. That shows where we're at. I mean, look at that. That's, that's just one little flyer. That's where I started before the target rip pulled up. So the target was bouncing around while you were shooting it, right? Yeah, that's all right. You want to shoot more at it, or are you good? I mean, the whole thing moves around. Yeah. No, Only the best fine. testing protocol here in TMP. Absolutely. We lock it down. Let's try to hit that. You're not going to hit that. Called it. Did you hit it? Of course. I couldn't hear it. I hit it. Did you? Yeah. Cool. This thing does shoot like a laser. Oh yeah, dude. On it. I know. On it. Here, I'm gonna use this as a, a rest since it's windy. Only the best tactical, <laughs> <laughs> tactical accessories. I don't need it for that range though. God, that shoots nice. Smooth, right? This is what I wanted when I when I reviewed the the P50. This is what I had in mind. I was like, man, if I just this is just like a carbine version. It's so nice, long. Hit. That's a hit. Yeah. How about that little Evil Roy? How about yes? <laughs> Dude, I love it. I really like it. By the way, if you're new to the project, welcome. Subscribe, become a donor. And don't think for a minute, just because I have a manufacturer's representative here with me, that I would not lambast his product. True? Am I really a manufacturer's representative though? To them you are. <laughs> That's true. To them you, I mean to the world, you represent Caltech. Yeah. You are the face of Caltech. It is true. We Isn't this sad? That is the face of Caltech. How desperate are they? Well, Holy hell, this is the best they could find for their catalog? Wow. Here, you're up. Could have had you. No, I'm worse than you are. Come up. Oh, you're gonna go for the wood, wood bracing. Hold on, just a second. Stay, stand by. Get that off. <laughs> Same day rules apply. Hit. <laughs> Same day rules apply. That's right. If you just, start today, you have to finish today. <laughs> it finally I set, sunk in, didn't it? Now I got the giggles. I'm laughing too hard. You gotta go. Excuse alert. Out. Ah. All right. So let's look at this real quick. There we go. This is <laughs> this is all rusted. I mean, I squirted all this with rim oil. This is all my rim oil here that had rust on it looks pretty good now though doesn't it can i show you yeah can i show you something real quick sure here trade me this is for all your viewers when you get a p50 or an r50 before you open it up take yeah. your mag out because you think you're out of ammo do a chamber check because when you go to flip the gun or open the gun that muzzle points right down at your feet good idea i like Just it not there's no you know the hammer and stuff's back here but just in case, in case you have like yeah, a... Yeah, that's great. You call it a hang fire or something yeah. like that, so yeah. That's a good safety tip. We like safety here in TMP. We're all about safety, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Let's go throw a new mag in and then we'll uh, back it up a little bit. All right. Shooting the steel is a rush. R50, winter time, TMP.
Brought to you by Burger King. <laughs> Burger King. What? Jimmy John's the real MVP out here. <laughs> I'd love it if they had a Jimmy John's out here. Brought to you by Jimmy John's. You have a loaded mag already, I thought. Yeah, oh, it's right, it's right there. right there, bro. So I want to pull the truck up a little bit so it's kind of out of the way. Yeah. Woo, it's cold out here, dude. It's in the teens, I think, at this point. It's chilly. My batteries are dying, like, quick, too. Holy cow, this one's already dead and it was brand new. Look. It's dying already. Dang. You can't see anything, so no. just take it from me. All right, hang on. I like that sight. Are you filming? Yeah. I like the sight. It's pretty good. Hit, 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 hit. I'll hit. I wish I had a VG on it right now. Yeah? That would be sick. Can't really run and gun in this stuff. The snow's just too deep. A little bit crunchy. And I'm from Florida, let's not forget that. Yeah. We got the truck running for Chad. <laughs> Because he's a Floridian and he's not used to this cold. <laughs> Actually, it is kind of nice. I like it too. I ain't going to lie. It's so cold out here. Especially with the wind chill. R50! I love this thing, dude. I ain't going to lie. I love it. Good. Is there anything I don't like about it? I've always liked your grip. I really never had a problem with this grip ever. You can get like uh, sandpaper applications from it. I think there's some companies that make that. Mm-hmm. I like the stock, how simple it is, and how easy it is to fold. And like you say, it can go either side. Seems like it's sturdy, that'd be durable. Easy enough to tape. Just, it's a simple gun too. Do you remember what this costs? MSRP is seven and change. You're gonna sell a lot of these. Well, you'll sell a lot assuming that they can get ammunition. Correct. A lot of guys stored up ammunition though. Yeah, this is wicked, dude. 100% on that long range. It's gonna shoot. Yeah, I've been hitting it. It's kind of hard with that crosswind because this thing's so light, it wants to go back and forth. Yeah. <sighs> Miss that one. Here you go, buddy. I'm all right. bogarting all the ammo. Standard. Your ammo. <laughs> Chad from Caltech. Great to have him out again. Back in the project. Yeah. I like it. I actually haven't had a lot of trigger time on this gun yet. It's freaking awesome. I think I got one more round. Yeah. Maybe. So she wrote. Oh, yep. So obviously, um, I love this gun. I would totally buy one. If I can source the ammo, that's really the only caveat. I know where there's a bunch. At your house? <laughs> We're shooting TMP 5728 stash. Actually, it's my reviewing stash. I do have to keep it for review. Yeah, it's a great gun. Super lightweight. Maybe I'd have to rethink the BOK thing. I mean, because I'd have to, honestly, what I ought to do is take out my papoose, weigh all the ammo, the magazines, and then 
weigh that and see if that's like eight ounces more i'd go with that okay way more capable comparison yeah and it's not a rim fire so it's way more reliable too sure yeah it's such a win sick yeah build a lot of them they're going to sell like crazy comes with two mags guys this is a caltech r50 r50 I love the P52, but this is just way more better because it's a, no legality problems. You don't have any BPO problems with it. It just uh, works too. It's accurate, reliable. Really, you might own the 5728 market with it. Oh, and by the way, I have shot the Ruger carbine and I've reviewed it and I didn't like that. Really? It's way, way heavier than this. I just was not a fan, and it uses a pistol mag, so it doesn't have nearly the rounds this one does. I'm not even familiar with it. Yeah, the Ruger 5.7 carbine, it's just, uh, I, I didn't buy it. I just reviewed it, and I turned it right back to Gunny's, because I, I didn't want it in my inventory at all. They missed a boat with that one. It's, it's not good. I don't think they're going to sell that one at all. No? Yeah, you guys got them beat with that one. R50 in the project. Chad from Caltech coming out. We'll have them out again for other adventures. Stay tuned, stay subscribed. Jump in those comments. I'll jump in there with you guys. Yeah, and I can you believe he's not a Patreon member? <laughs> Give him a rash of crap. Join Patreon and go to the comments section in Patreon. The guys would love to see you there. I'll check it out. There you go. TMP! See ya.